You don't realise it, I'm sure, but right now you're standing on the hydrogen equivalent of holy ground. Because back in 2011, this facility behind me here was the first one of its type to be deployed in the UK. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to Honda today for the official launch of the new hydrogen facility. And it's fantastic to see so many people at this exciting event. In the field of zero emissions electric vehicles, Honda has developed the FCEV concept, Honda's next generation mass produced fuel cell electric vehicle, which will be introduced next year, first in the US and Japan, and then arriving in Europe by 2016. This will be the world's first application of a fuel cell powertrain packaged completely in the engine room. These vehicles will be fueled by hydrogen, so the new and improved fueling station that we're here to launch today is a vital step in the vision of realising the joy of freedom of mobility and sustainable society where people can enjoy life. BOC in the UK has been a source and a proving ground for a lot of the low carbon clean energy technologies, with transport one of the clear main areas of focus. The hydrogen refueling station that we, uh, that we deployed here in 2011 set the standard for others to follow, and indeed they have. There are now many stations adapted and built to offer a combined 350 and 700 bar refueling capability. We believe fundamentally the facility here at Honda now takes another major leap forward and further enhances the reputation of Honda and that of all the partners and the pioneers uh, in this project in the promotion of hydrogen. The station now has the ability to produce hydrogen on site from solar powered electrolysis. It can produce 20 tonnes a year, so it's a commercial scale venture. It's the first facility that is going to actually take renewably produced hydrogen, high purity hydrogen, and be used as a transport fuel in the region's largest fleet of light goods vehicles. It's also going to be used to power a fuel cell powered education centre to promote this great facility and also the broader applications that hydrogen has beyond just transport. The facility also is going to be used to provide high purity green hydrogen to two fuel cell powered forklift trucks. But what's really interesting and really impressive about this is that the hydrogen is going to be piped from this facility 300 metres through subterranean trenches into Honda's engine plant over there and the forklift truck is going to be refuelled by a permanently installed hydrogen dispenser. We really hope and expect this to kind of set the benchmark again for on-site production. It is an absolute pleasure to be here today to celebrate with you the opening of this fantastic facility. We've been supporting innovation in hydrogen and fuel cells for a little while now. So since 2007, we've put about 60 million into fuel cells and hydrogen. So we are long-term supporters of this sector. We believe in its promise um, as a way of uh, linking the energy and transport systems and as a low carbon option for the future. And we were aiming to support innovative, large scale application led projects that were about integrating fuel cells or hydrogen with the energy system transport in the built environment. And I'm sure you'll agree that this project is an absolutely perfect exemplar of that. This site and the collaboration that's gone into it um, is an excellent example of exactly the, the industry expertise and innovation that will be needed to underpin the rollout of both hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and refuelling infrastructure here in the UK. It's absolutely fundamental for hydrogen to be credibly called a zero carbon fuel it's vital that the upstream production mix and supply chain is fully decarbonised too. This means that our preferred operational model is to produce the hydrogen on site, at the point of use, harnessing renewable energy source such that we have here at Honda. And we truly believe that this facility once again sets the benchmark for others to follow. Thank you.